no more. Because you can't afford to open down here in Dallas. And then I have to answer this guy, and that's not the way it's ever been. Now, I told you that when I first started here. I have broke zero promises to you. I've been paying you in good faith this entire time. You've been time. paying me late this whole time. You've been writing me you hot checks. Last two weeks. Do you understand that? They write you a hot check. You wrote it me a $2,000 hot check, bro. The money wasn't there. It was there until I got whacked out of our account. That's not my look. I know. That's your account. You wrote a hot check out of your account for two grand. I want to know where things are at past point today. I'm not trying to start a bunch of shit for y'all in your lives. I'm not trying to be a big dick. But understand, my kids ain't going to get to eat here in two weeks because y'all decided that you can't afford Texas. Well, where do you now, wait a minute. You're going to act like Texas was all me. Texas was my it. idea. Well, I know when fucking big wigs up over in uh, Minnesota, when Danny and Danny Minnesota oh. talk about up or another location, all I hear is Pat on the phone oh. bragging, talking oh. about I'm opening another location too. So you can say as much as it was, it was for me. But it was trying to grow the business. Where are the air duct receipts? I have them. Huh? I have the air duct receipts. Why? Because it shows what I've done down here. So I need to know what I know done down here. I'll make you copies and I'll email them to you. Okay, so you took our paperwork. I didn't take your paperwork. It's got my name on it. With the six it's got my signature. I was the thing that should put it in. I'll take a copy of it out. that we did 10 grand in air duct cleaning down here. And there's no paperwork here. Pat. That's what I'm looking for. Because you're saying 10 I'll grand. Send it to you. I see a $600 job, a $300 job. We ain't got to settle up today. I want to know what your plan is. Are you planning on being a right guy?